right, it's Joe Bruin here with AllAccessEntertainment.com with the lovely actress Judith Hogue here at Hartford Comic Con, Hartford, Connecticut. And it's a great day so far. We're still uh, getting things underway. Two-day convention here. And uh, let's just touch base. Let's go a little backwards on your uh, childhood, growing up as a kid, and your first acting experience. Oh, my first acting experience. Um, I, well, I did plays in elementary school. But I think probably my first acting gig was showing up at my my parents. They would have dinner parties, and apparently the kids weren't invited. So I would dress up and knock on the door, and I would try to join their dinner party. Sure. And I used to stuff my boobs and stuff my butt, and I would come in as this very kind of larger than life. I think I was probably about eight years old, seven years old with one of my mother's kid cigarettes that were unlit and I would come in and ask for a drink and insist that I was going to stay for the party. So I think it kind of started. Awesome. <laughs> that's, oh, that's a great story, but you know, it only got better from there. I mean, you, you've done so much things, you've accomplished so much over the years. And of course, you know, you can't help but think about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1999, April O'Neil, and uh, when you were filming that, is that something that you thought would be as big as it ended up being? I mean, all these years later, and it's just as big, if not bigger, it's still reinventing itself? Yeah, not a clue. Not a clue. And, and actually, the, the um, Golden Harvest, who uh, was the original production company, yep. they didn't think it was going to do that well either. Okay. Like, once the movie was made... Um, they were really concerned because it was kind of dark, sure. and they thought, uh, normally back then there weren't a lot of dark kids movies, there are now, which I think are great because I think kids are kind of dark. Sure. You know, they're very complicated little yeah. people, but nobody gives them enough credit for how brilliant they are and how crazy they are. Because it's a, you know, you're little and, you know, you're a full spectrum human being and everyone thinks you're supposed to be happy all the time. Right. And most kids I know aren't. Right. They're just figuring it out. And so they didn't think it was going to do that well. They actually thought they probably had a bomb. Or at least a movie that maybe wasn't a bomb. Probably wouldn't have mass appeal. Sure. And that first day that it opened, they drove past the movie theater and there was a line around the block. And then they started calling people, it's like, what's happening, where you are? And there were lines around the block everywhere. And so it was a, a happy surprise, but nobody thought that was going to happen. Sure, yeah. And now that it continues, it's just, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And what was it like working with the rest of the cast there, and do you still keep in contact with anybody? I have uh, seen Leif Tilden and Michelle and Sisti. Uh, recently, sure. um, I've been in touch with Josh Pice, who I think I'm going to see in January. And then uh, uh, I haven't seen David Foreman. Okay. And I've only connected with Elias via text okay. in years. But I can't wait to see him and have a big smack and kiss on his face. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate you coming out here. Thanks. It's Hartford Comic Con, the lovely Judith Hogue here, courtesy of All Access Entertainment, and we appreciate you joining us here today. Thanks. Thank you very much.